Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you're a returning soul, welcome back. Okay, Taurus, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So if you have Taurus in any of those placements in your chart, this should just about be the reading for you. Okay, keep in mind my readings are timeless and they're general. So just keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. Don't go manifesting what is not meant for you. Okay, uh, please do subscribe. Hit the like button, especially if you enjoy this reading, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always like to hear feedback from my viewers, and all of that helps my channel grow. Last but not least, Taurus, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below this video. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me. There's no other way and that I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. Okay, so please be aware of any scams. Okay, Taurus. Oh, Taurus, I think, yeah, I believe we're still in Taurus season. Happy birthday for those in the last days of the Taurus season. Well, I don't know because I'm pre recording right now, and the day this video will be published, it will be. It's okay, it's not that much, but still, happy birthday! Happy belated birthday, okay. Taurus, are you start, uh, trying to start something? Trying to give birth to something? Maybe some of you are trying to give birth? We'll see in a minute. One more. I'm sorry, Taurus. But they tell me one more, I gotta, I can do it. Yeah, thank you. You're trying to start something, I know you are. You give birth to a project, idea, I don't know. We'll see in a minute, okay? You, it's a lot of trusting. Your inner self. Or... Yeah. Maybe some of you are trying to start. Could be a relationship with someone or maybe it's just a project. I see this as a very divine project. Heart of the matter, the lovers, okay? A strong Gemini energy. Now, soon we're entering Gemini season after you, okay? So this could be have something to do with during this Gemini season, okay? Oh, and by the way, this video is supposed to be published on a full moon in Scorpio, okay? Uh, I don't know if it will be published exactly because I'm, run I I'm running a little late, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I focus on the energy of the moon, but uh, it doesn't mean that you have to watch this video exactly on that moment. No, 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 no. I always say my readings are timeless and uh, the energy stays lingering for months, okay? Energy that's crossing you and it could be challenging you is the Queen of Swords. And that's strongly a Gemini energy right there too. But this is mostly something in your mind, how to address things or how to address a situation. How, how am I gonna, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Give me a second. It's like, how am I gonna pull it off or how am I gonna deal with it? Energy, that is crowning in your conscious mind. 
and you do see it clearly. It's the Eight of Swords, so it's more ener energy. You feel that you're stuck, that you're not getting anywhere. So you want to give birth or you want to start this new divine union with something, okay? It could be anything, a relationship, a job environment, or project, okay? But you're trying to start this new union. I don't know why I, it's like, even though they're facing themselves, they're each other here, I feel like it's like the energy is they're back to back. It's like, maybe some of you are trying to, make things work with someone else. Okay, well, well, take it as it resonates. I'm just talking more than what I should. But you're just trying to make things to, to, to reunite, to, to, to balance things between you and something else. And remember, it's only between you and someone, thing else. Never try to balance things for others. Don't try to balance things for one person and another one for them to come together. Never do that, okay? You are in no position to do that. And, oh, trust me, the divine can be very angry if you do because you're interfering with divine work. As long as it's focusing about your own self, that's okay. That's for some of you. I just, I just heard, I was told to give you that warning. Okay. Mm. Taurus, the energy that is in your subconscious mind, you don't see clearly, but you should because this is what the universe usually wants you to, to focus on. Okay. It's not the advice, but it's something like, hey, uh, Try to focus more on this. Turn in, turn around and then. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Strong Capricorn energy, but this can also be Taurus or uh, Virgo. It's Earth energy. They're telling you that you have to focus more on your divine. More on your divine self, which would be more your divine feminine energy. Mostly, okay. Don't doesn't matter what what gender you are, okay. Don't 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 worry about that. It's just they want you to focus more on your. It could be like spiritual side. And have faith. Be more more like a mother to yourself. More caring. Yes, more like a mother. Something about a mother here, because I said at the beginning, something about giving birth to something. But I get this, well, divine, spiritual, feminine, feminine energy, they want you to focus more on that. The energy that's behind you, recent past, or it's the energy that's pushing you through this. Seven of Wands. I can sense that you've been standing strong. Some of you have probably been dealing with energies that you have had to stand strong against. Uh, feeling judged, questioned, criticized by others or by a situation or environment where we felt not necessarily attacked, but just out of whack, out of place. And you had to be very bold and assertive and stay strong and fight against it. Now, some of you probably are coming from that energy, and that's trying to balance things now within you. 
or something else. Something that threw you off. But you have this sense that you're not getting anywhere, you're not moving, you feel stagnant, blindfolded. Really, I have a feeling it's like I feel cold. I don't know. Mm. The energy that's in front of you, where you're headed to, near future for some of you, or what's coming towards you is the Eight of Wands. Things are going to pick up. They should pick up progressively. If you cherish more, if you focus more on, your, on yourself, cherish your own energy, like a mother, more caring to yourself and staying grounded. And some sort of clarity is going to come to you on how to work this union that you are trying to achieve. It's like a manifestation of something. Like I said, it could be a partnership, it could be a job environment, a work, something. I don't know, your situation is none of my business. I only read the energy, okay? You're being guided by your intuition. It's like the high priestess energy. But in order to become that high priestess, you first have to sit on this queen of pentacles energy and focus on your own soul. That's the only way that then things, you're gonna see, you're gonna gain that clarity. It's like, you're going to see things with more proper perspective. If that's what it is, because we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Eight of Wands. You see, Eight and Eight. But these swords in your mind, something in your mind, it's not letting you see things clearly. Things are going to become clearer for you. There's going to be more clarity, proper perspective. Because the Eight is after the Seven. And they're both wands, seven of wands, eight of wands. So you're coming from this situation in your mind. Well, in your past, there was some type of struggle and it, let, it left you in this state of confusion, lack of clarity. That's why you're having a trouble addressing things. But if you focus, that's the thing, that's the answer. That's what they're saying. The answer is within you. But in order to, to, to find an answer, you have to sit within yourself and focus on your own energy. With that motherly love to yourself. You have to be your own mother to your own inner child. And that's not easy, I know. There's a lot of emotional work that has to be done to achieve that. Taurus, the energy that is representing you or how you might be taking action in the situation. It's the judgment, okay? You're, you're answering a calling here. It's a divine calling. Like I said, it's like that high priestess energy. You're listening to your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you through this repairing or union that you're trying to achieve. The energy that's surrounding you and it's influencing you. I said the High Priestess, but we have the Hierophant. This is the Divine Masculine energy of the High Priestess. It's the same type of energy, but it's a guidance. Actually, this is stronger than the High Priestess because this is my card of God. 
And this is God working with you. Literally, hand by hand. Taking you by the hand, guiding you. All you have to do is have faith and trust. You're being given, given some keys of, of, of keys of confidence, keys of wisdom. You have to have faith. And Taurus, I forgot to say that. The Hierophant is your card. That's your major arcana. It's Taurus energy. That's the energy that's influencing you. So somehow you're also stepping into your power here. And you're being divinely supported and guided. So it's not the high priestess, it's the hierophant. Which is, it's not better, it's just more... I think it has more of a solid foundation in cer under certain structures. So high priestess is more spiritual and it's not like very physically oriented. I don't know, it's just very hard to explain. None of them is better. They're just different. But I believe that the Hierophant is a better suited energy for the situation. I was thinking in the High Priestess, but now that I see the Hierophant, I said, oh, actually, yeah. And because you're Taurus, more physical, more in this terrain. The energy that is in your hopes and fears is the Eight of Cups. You know, you know, that's it. That's the problem that you have to walk away from something that somehow doesn't emotionally fulfill you anymore so that you can manifest or come into this divine union. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I messed up. No, that's not what it is. Your hopes and f your fear is that you won't be able to come into this divine union and that maybe you'll have to walk away from it at some point. But that's in your hopes and fears, that's up here. And that's what's keeping you stagnant. The answers are within you, Taurus. But you have to sit in your power It's like you have to connect with God here. You have to talk to God. You have to meditate. You have to talk to yourself so you can get this clarity that you're seeking. And then things are going to become clear for you. But you are answering this calling because you are being guided to do so. That's why the Hierophant is the energy that's surrounding you. It's God. It's literally it's the mind telling you this has to be done. The outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, is the Two of Cups. They want, you have to, it has to be done. There is this healing or divine union that has to come into place because there's a lot of healing here from the past. Okay, only you know. I read the energy, I don't know what your situation is, but the past left you stuck. And there has to be this healing that has to take place so that things can be balanced. I did say it, didn't I? That divine feminine, masculine energy, talking in the mirror, like the Two of Cups, that's it. That's what it is. Don't be afraid of having to walk away or have, that you'll have to walk away or give up on this emotional 
how would I say it, quest, or task that you have to do. It's just, you just need some clarity on how to address things. And to do it, you first have to, you have to consult it with yourself. Okay, you have to consult it with God. Look within, the answer is within you. Then you'll be able to give birth or come into divine union to whatever it is that you are trying to do here. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. It's the same thing. It's that healing, sitting with yourself, addressing your emotions. But you're going to have to do this in a very... I hear a Piscean energy, by the way. I hear it a very spiritual way. And in order to connect very spiritually, you have to connect with your emotions. Yeah. Some of us don't, don't like to do that. But... That's the only way that sometimes we find the answers. Trust me in that. And I'm a Pisces. I know what, what that means. Taurus, I don't need to clarify anything, but I'm just going to give you some additional advice from the Osho Santaro. I use it more like an Oracle deck. Additional advice for Taurus, please. please thank you thank you thank you thank you I felt when this card flipped and they told me uh, you don't have to take it but I want you to look at it and I have the lover's card okay because the whole uh, when I you saw it how it flipped you can rewind out the video if you want. And I just I just flipped it because I heard it in my mind. You don't have to you don't have to um, it's already it's it's the main of the and this is like my baby version of the lovers. But uh, I heard it in my mind. Just show it to them so that they Okay, we have quite a few here, okay? So have patience with me. It's not that many. Okay, but there's just additional advice or messages that I think for some of you compromise. I just heard that. Judgment, vulnerability. That's compromising. Okay, don't be afraid to be vulnerable and compromise with your emotions. Like I said, okay? Okay. Taurus, uh, since each one of you are going through different situations, that's why maybe I have quite a lot of advice. So it all depends to, to each one. Okay. One is creativity. Okay. Do you stay creative, remain playful. Okay. It's very important to be creative always. And your creativity can always help you uh, focus your mind on other things. This can also be seen as creativity, okay? And when you we become creative, creative, uh, our mind get, becomes clear, and we start seeing things in a different, from a different point of view. Morality, okay? That's you know, remain moral. Get that high priestess energy again, but it can also be the hierophant energy. It's just being pure with your intentions. Whatever it is that you want to achieve or do here, just be pure with your intentions. Okay? If you have any sense of guilt, you have to release it. Okay? And that could come from Whatever happened in the past, maybe you are trying to repair, like I said, a situation. It could be a relationship or anything 
that was thrown off balance and kept you stuck in the state. Um, release any sense of guilt. But also, like I said about the morality, okay? Just make sure that you're doing it. Anything that you do, you're doing, you're doing it from a higher vibration, okay? That's very important. Participation. If you are being asked in this situation, maybe if it's a relationship, maybe you are being asked to participate just a little more so that you can fix or come into this more divine union, okay? Remember that I said something about the lovers? And how they're back, I, see, I saw them back to back, you know. Maybe there's something about the playfulness, like I said, use your imagination, your creativity. That can always twist things a little bit around for the better. Okay? And that's why it's very important to release guilt. Because guilt can really, it's almost like the same as holding grudges, you know. It can really screw up with our desires to do things. We don't see things clearly with guilt or with grudges, holding on to grudges. And stress, releasing stress, be more playful, you see. That's pretty much that energy. From, it's, all, it's all coming from whatever happened in your recent past. Some struggling, some fighting, some... I don't know what it was. We have the master, which is, you know, just simply, to me, it's the hierophant, God, the divine. And it's an ascension for you also. This is a lesson for you to learn, to become a master. And it's uh, knowledge or wisdom that you can pass on to others. Slowing down, okay? Don't try to rush things, okay? It's very important. Don't try to rush things. The Queen of Pentacles is sitting in. Uh, you can barely see it, but just a rabbit running. And... That's the sign of, you know, she's just sitting there focused on her pentacle and her own energy, letting other things run around. Don't let that affect you, okay? Don't try to rush things. Don't let external energies, energies influence you and make you feel under pressure or rushed. Don't do that, okay? It's, you have to sit right now because we have three queens. that are telling us that you have to sit pretty on your throne and focus on your own energy and your thoughts and your emotions, okay? Taurus, I hope this reading helps you somehow, okay? I really, really hope it does. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite complicated energy, but uh, if it helps you, please do click the like button and leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, what can I say, I hope you I, I hope you can work this out, come into divine in or heal, whatever it is that has to be healed, okay? Or manifest, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. I wish you all the best luck, okay? And all the healing. Taurus, I hope to see you next time. And as usual, please stay safe, be happy, always stay happy. It's very important. Remain playful. Okay, that's very important also. And stay very, very blessed. Goodbye, Taurus.